Betty Gaz and Dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is day 1100. I thought it was 2000, but it's 1100 of my ketogenic journey. I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday, but only for accountability. And then I'll be right back with a chit chat. No, and if that tells you anything, where this is going. Okay, so don't forget to like, be supportive, share if you love me, ring that bell, and subscribe if you're new here. Now, let's rant, rave, and misbehave keto diamond style. Here's what I ate yesterday, and it's more low carb, not exactly keto. All right, you guys, so our options are actually very limited today. We had to find a place to eat in because it was just too hot to eat in the car. Uh, there you see works, but not as good as the van by far. And this little guy's cheeks were bright red, so he needed some AC. Uh, what I got might or might not be kind of, it's mostly keto friendly, but it might mess with me. You guys, so being that this was kind of a last resort, these are buffalo chicken tenders. They are breaded. The breading's not too bad, though. And generally, it's going to be okay, but probably not for my body. And I got some ranch to go along with it. We're at Taco Hill. <laughs> I ordered three, three soft supremes and just poured them into a bowl. I already know I'm going up from the KFC meal, so I'm not too worried about from a little bit more water weight from this. And I got a glass of ice water. Athena, Athena. <laughs> He's six, and I still have to share a chair. Hey guys, so I was actually going to give you guys four days to enter. I messed up and forgot all about it. Today was supposed to be the day I did the drawing. Um, however, since I only gave you one day to enter, today is the last day to enter to enter to win this beautiful size nine stainless steel, never going to turn, never going to change. Gets a ton of attention from everybody who sees it. Ring. Um, just comment me below. Also, I just re redid my nails, and people are always curious about the color. It is Infinite by Colorlast from Walmart. It's like two bucks, and it lasts for like ten days. So, enter. Just say me. And I will be announcing the winner of this ring tomorrow. Maybe even do a live. I really want to do a lot more lives. I love doing lives. Alright you guys, so I got a package from a lady named Michelle Chauncey, I think that's how you say it. I hope I'm not butchering your last name. I thought I had it open. <laughs> I did not. I had the tape cut. I didn't have the whole package open. But it's so sticky. Oh wow, I think I know what this is. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm gonna be sure. So I'm not sure what this is. Oh, wow. That's a wallet. Yeah, I will damn sure use this. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you. Hold on just one second. There's a note in here. All right. So, it says, a gift for you to celebrate three years keto. Thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing and helping so many. I watch every day, but I'm usually not commenting. Just silently supporting. I hope you enjoy the wallet and pray God blesses you and your family. I don't mind if you share. And I have several for sale on my Etsy shop. So she does have Etsy. Uh, can be found at the Quilted Seed. At the Quilted Seed, all one word. Congrats on three years, Michelle. P.S. The pocket on the back is for your phone. Oh. Oh. Okay, so let me show you this. Let me go ahead and show you her, her, I don't want to make sure there's no address on it, there's not. Picked a better design. No, she couldn't have picked a better design, I love it. The Quilted Seed, all one word, and that's on Etsy. So if you like this, check it out. 
Oh, Brian, look, there's diamonds. Do you make these? Are, are these handmade? See the diamond? And it's, it's sugar skulls, which I absolutely adore and love. Oh, wow, the case of bags for your phone. I'll try it out, but my phone's what I'm using. Um, that is super, girl. That is beautiful. Some of you guys are so creative. I, I wish I had this in me, but I do not. So, uh, thank you again, Michelle. And that's from the Quilted Seed on Etsy. You guys go check that out. So, number one, you guys might notice I'm in the van. My dad cleaned my battery cables yesterday, told me to try it out, because while he had it running, the alternator didn't act up. But we know that it did very much so act up yesterday. So we are sitting at the post office because we're actually close to the house. Thought we'd do a little bit of a drive around, see what it does. So far, so good. Doesn't mean anything. Just means the alternator hasn't gone all the way out. But I do think it's on its way out. Because cleaning the battery post won't really do anything. The battery cranks the vehicle or causes the vehicle to crank, gives it the power. But the alternator is what keeps it running while you're driving with the AC and the radio and everything on. So... I did call around to some junkyards hoping to get the part cheaper. Uh, I only found one that was open today. It is Saturday, and they didn't have any parts for this kind of vehicle at all. So I'll call around more on Monday and see what I can find. Now, um, I have some, like an announcement. It's not really bad news or sad news because it's not like I use it a real big, but some of you are very supportive over on Patreon, and I am going to be taking Patreon off my channel. It's no longer going to be in my videos. They did some kind of hinky stuff that I didn't like, not to me, but to other people. Um, and I decided it's time to, it's best to get rid of it now because it is a very big possibility that they, they could be going out of business. And what they did when they changed, they found out they were going to be sued because they canceled a, a YouTuber um, because of something they had said on another platform like forever ago. And they found out about it and they weren't supposed to cancel anybody without notifying them first or without warning and they did now apparently this person did something not so good but if they can cancel that person they can cancel anybody at any time and the problem with that is the money you get from patreon like that i would get doesn't come from patreon they're not the ones paying me you are um and who are they to say you shouldn't and keep your money instead of giving it to who you intended to go to and plus, you're paying them. You're not only paying me, you're paying them. So, like, let's say you sign up for $5 a month and you want to donate $5 a month to me. They take, let's say, $0.50 cent to a dollar of that. Um, or a portion of it, anyway, they take. Why should they get that if they're going to, you know, mess with people? And then when they found out they were being sued, they changed their terms of service and tried to say that anybody who was still, once they changed it, anybody who decided to stay with them or was still with them, automatically agree to the terms of service change well you might not if you don't even know the service has changed so i think it's best that since I, I don't have very many people over there and i don't have very much content over there to just go ahead and let patreon go there's plenty of ways in the description to support the channel without that so yeah i'm just going to leave patreon off of it and for those of you who i don't know if y'all have already been charged because it is august 1st welcome to jumanji level eight uh, for 2020 but anyway it is august 1st so they might have already charged people so i'm not going to delete my patreon page yet um i'm going to leave it up for those who have already done it but i'm not going to be putting the video the link in the vi videos anymore and once this month is up i'm going to just delete my patreon so i don't want to like show you the other money forgive my french but i don't know how to put it um so goodbye patreon all right that being said yesterday was not a good keto day obviously you saw what I ate now partially it was out of necessity and the second part was because I'm stupid um, always make your next meal keto and while these meals are keto-esque they're more low carb and for those of you who don't know the difference between low carb and keto because they're kind of similar right keto you drop your carbs low enough to put you in a state of ketosis which helps burn body fat and gets you from burning carbs low carb diets are more also low calorie diets so you just have to be careful with everything you eat that way and i think it's probably in the long run more difficult for somebody like me but it does work well for other people now um the foods that i ate yesterday would be considered low carb but not good enough for keto you know and they didn't work out for me i did gain some water weight which i've got to go potty right right now because 
I'm already losing some of that weight. I mean, from where I weighed in this morning, and I'm going to show you my weight in a second, where I weighed into this morning to where I'm sitting now is actually lower than I was when I first woke up. And I don't think I've caught that too many times in my keto journey. So I'm already letting go of the water weight from yesterday. But let me go ahead and do the weigh-in. I've been trying to get back to sleep, but apparently my body only wants to sleep five hours. So let's step on the scale. I know it's not going to be good. I'm in a lot of pain, and I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, 63. Hopefully nowhere to go from here but down. So I went up 1.6 pounds of water weight. Not bad like Hubby said considering what I did. It might actually be more than that. I think it's 1.6. So no, it it's 2.6. I'm so sorry. Y'all know I'm bad with my math. I, after all, I thought today was going to be 2,000 and it's 1,100. So. <laughs> but anyway, um, I can't believe I did that for so long. I actually thought that. Oh, okay, anyway. So, um, those wings were breaded. And I think I said I called them tenders when I did the video, but they're chicken wings. They're hot wings. I got to be honest with you, though. Never back up KFC buffalo wings with taco hell. We don't call that taco bell around here. We call it taco hell because of what it does to you. Now, those wings are the perfect, perfect tasting wing. They are hot. Hot, hot, spicy hot. They're soft. They, they, they're breaded, but they're soft enough to slurp them off the bone, right? The problem is, they great going down, but they are not good coming back. I went to the bathroom six times after going to Taco Bell. I'm not kidding you. And every last one was was singed with Satan's breath. And I thought it was dying. It was hot, miserable. My belly hurt. My backside hurt. I paid for it. Okay. I feel a little fat right Well, I don't feel too bad right now. But when I first woke up, I felt fat. Um, I didn't get but five hours of sleep either. My son came doing the... And, uh, yeah, he's just like his son. Anyway, he came doing the tap, tap, tap thing on me and said, Mom, can I use the van? I said, no, the van is broken. Take the car. He's like, all right. So he left um, for work. And I got up to go pee. And then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I only got about five hours of sleep. And that's my fault. I could have went back to bed. The whole household was quiet. I just laid there for like an hour and a half, two hours, and nothing happened. So I just went ahead and got on up. Um... Plus, I was thinking about talking to y'all about Satan's fire in my backside. So, you know, fire in the hole for real. Uh, don't talk smack. He thought it was funny. I still do. He still does. Uh, he's probably a little bored of sitting here, too. But uh, Kicking yourself. I I'm pretty sure I kicked myself um, water weight-wise. I don't really know, though. I didn't really get sick feeling. I did hurt in my kidneys. I want to explain this. If you hurt in your kidneys after you've kicked yourself out of ketosis, this is not because of keto. Okay, and I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. They'll kick themselves and then they'll get like a kidney infection and it'll hurt really bad. This is not because of keto. This is because you went keto, your body had to, didn't have to process all that heavy sugar and crap anymore. And then you kicked yourself and now your body has to process that sugar and crap through those kidneys. and. It, it's not keto's fault. It's kicking yourself's fault or doing something you shouldn't have done's fault. So a lot of times when people's kidneys act up on keto, not all the time. I'm sure there's there's exceptions to almost every rule. I'm sure there's an exception to this one. But in general, if you kick yourself out of ketosis and your kidneys hurt, it's because you've kicked yourself out of ketosis and your body now has to process crap it's not used to processing anymore. Have you experienced this? This has happened to you? It's happened to me multiple times. One day, I thought I got by with eating some cupcakes, but oh boy, later that night, I did not get by with it. I hurt everywhere, and my kidneys took a shot. I feel like somebody just on both sides. Oh, speaking of these shirts, check this out. Now, y'all have seen this shirt. I don't know why I showed it to you again. But the lady who made them, Miss Lisey, told me, you know, if I can get some more tank tops and send them to her, she'll make me more of these shirts. And since I want one in every color and I want to wear them every day of the week because I really, really love this shirt, um, I'm going to go to Walmart now if this vehicle holds up. And uh, we'll see. We do have a booster box with us just in case it doesn't. So we should be able to get back home. If not, Daddy's only a full color. I know we got a booster box. 
until then. Because you were staring at me. <laughs> Probably because I was doing this number. But anyway, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, every time I rearrange things, he thinks he's supposed to help me. Good Lord. Um, don't forget to comment me below if you would like to enter. Oh, it's not for this ring. It's for the ring I showed you earlier. Comment me below. And, of course, the people from today who said me and from the other day who said me will all go into a hat and I'll be doing a drawing. I plan to do it live. Guys, I'm so terrible with these lives. I want to do them. I want to go live. But my house is never quiet. I got a kid with Tourette's. I've got video gamers and loudmouth people. So it's and loud mouth grandkids. And, grand, and very loud grandkids. <laughs> Y'all know that, though, if you've been watching. Sometimes you need to take your earphones out for a minute, right? So, anyway... Again, Patreon will no longer be listed. I would take Patreon all, out of all my channel listings, but I've got over 1,500 videos, and that would literally probably take me a year. So I'm not going to do all that. But it'll no longer appear down there. But like I said, there's other ways to support the channel, like my post office box below. Check, check your girl out over there on Etsy. Uh, what's it called again? The Quality Seed. The Quilted Seed. Sorry, The Quilted Seed. Uh, all one word over on Etsy. Um, get you something really cool. This is awesome. I really do love this. I'm going to use this today. So, um, yes. Absolutely am. Anyway, guys and dolls, don't forget, uh, there, uh, if you need my help, contact me. Uh, I'll gladly answer any questions you have about keto or even regular life questions. Uh, but you know, I'm not a doctor. You have to know this, okay? I would hope you know this. Uh, I drive a crappy minivan with a down doctor obviously so do your own research contact me if you need me all the links are in the description below to to support the channel and everything else and if you're with me over on patreon i'm sorry but like i said i'm gonna wait a month that way if you've already been charged you've got the whole month and it's no big deal but next month make sure you cancel before the end of august that way you can't be charged again so much love to you guys and dolls i'll talk to you tomorrow